Uh, hi everyone, I'm Ethan. This is a joint work uh, of Indiana University, Institute of Information, Engineering, Chinese Academy of Sciences, and uh, University of Virginia. The title is Demystifying Hidden Private Settings in Mobile Apps. Uh, first, let's see what is a private setting. Take an example of Facebook. There is a setting named Nearby Friends. For a better service, uh, the Facebook use user's current location to enhance the social connections. Uh, to get users' agreement, they provide a setting in the app, and users can set a setting to decide who can see their current location to protect themselves. So, uh, for understanding more cat functionality categories of privacy settings, we collect uh, uh, 600 privacy settings from 200 apps. And according to the data they protect, uh, the settings can be uh, classified into six categories. Uh, the first one, on device data such as, do you share contacts with weaker? The second one, about users' personal profiles such as, show age on your profile. And the third, users' social connections, such as ask users who can see your friend list. And fourth, users' behavior, such as don't show my listening history to my friends in the um, musician app. And um, fifth, users' posted content, such as who can see my diary. And the last, anti-spam, such as don't accept if users has no profile icon. It is important to note that in all the categories, only on-device data can be protected by Android system permission. For the other 87 percentage of the uh, privacy, they can only be controlled by the privacy settings. So in our study, we want to understand, besides the familiar privacy data protected by Android system permission, uh, whether people really care about uh, other privacy uh, protected by privacy settings. So we performed a user study to understand the user's attitude. Uh, take the Facebook as an example again. We show the setting screenshot and describe the setting usage to them in the questionnaire. Like here, we tell them Facebook access your location even when you are not using the app and ask them, uh, what do you feel about if this case happens? We provide five choice for them to choose from very upset to I don't care. Uh, the user study lasted for two weeks and more than 200 pa people participated. From the user study's result, uh, we find that 83.5% of participants uh, choose uh, upset or very upset for at least one privacy settings in our questionnaire. And 71% pri uh, participants think that the privacy setting related uh, are as important as or even more important than those covered by Android system permission. So the problem comes. If users cannot find these valuable privacy settings, the privacy may be disclosed without users' consent. Let's see an example named Alipay, a Chinese famous financial app uh, has uh, more than one billion users worldwide. It has a setting named show message details. Uh, it can control whether show the message details such as amount change of your user account when user lock the screen, uh, lock the mobile screen. Uh, it is a privacy setting, but it's hard for users to find it in practice. This is the settings UI pass. Users can only find it by click the it's indicator me in the home page view and then click the setting and then click the general instead of the privacy indicator in the settings view and click the notification and eventually they can find a setting. This privacy setting hide too deep for users to locate. So in our work, we call this hard to find privacy setting as hidden privacy setting. Uh, besides uh, Alipay, we also find uh, uh, this problem in other apps such as Facebook. In uh, 2016, Facebook even was given a Big Brother Award as the biggest uh, privacy offender of the year because of the hidden privacy setting. So we want to understand what are the fundamental causes of the problematic of the privacy setting. 
So we perform a second user study to collect users' perception of the privacy setting design. Uh, we prepare the testing apps and install them on the emulator and uh, uh, real device for users and ask them to find. Uh, for example, we tell them some social apps such as you love often provide settings for users to set whether to share location, please find it. After they find it, we ask them how difficult was it to find the setting, and we still provide five choices for them to choose from very easy to very difficult. If they choose a difficult or very difficult, we further ask them, why did you have a trouble finding it? This study includes about 600 uh, privacy settings and lasts for three months. More than 700 people participate. From the user study's result, uh, participants think that 47.12% of the privacy setting are difficult or very difficult to find. And they also provide us 1,008 feedbacks for why they think they're difficult to find or why they think they cannot find it. Uh, for instance, a participant, a participant comes back, I don't see anywhere. I go to privacy settings. It's not anywhere to be found. You seriously have it there? So. Uh, we summarize settings and uh, we find the uh, root causes of hidden privacy settings can be classified to uh, two categories. The first one, when the privacy setting design violates a user's habit, for example, when the UI pass is uncommon, participants cannot find the settings in their familiar pass, so they may ignore the uncommon UI pass to find the privacy setting. The second, when looking for the privacy setting challenges users' patience. For example, when the view contains too many UI elements, such as Facebook again, one of its view contains uh, even more than 50 uh, UI elements to click. Users will lose their patience when find it. Uh, so here we summarize the six root causes from the feedbacks in total. So next we want to understand um, in the real world, uh, how seriously the hidden privacy setting program covers. Uh, to discover hidden privacy setting from a large number of real world apps, we, uh, prov we designed an automatic tool named the Hound. The Hound has uh, the design, the high level design of the Hound has two steps. First, extract a privacy setting from app and identify the hidden privacy setting from the privacy settings. Each step contains a key classifier. In this line, um, uh, extract settings from an app can already be done uh, by existing work such as Super. So the key of the hunt uh, here turns to how to design suitable features for the two classifier. For the, class, for the first classifier, we use a TFIDF of each word in the setting test description to design the features. The TFIDF can reflect how important a word is to a document. And in our work, we use it to reflect how important a word is to a privacy setting description. So in our work, uh, we model each setting test de description with a high level dimension feature vectors. Each dimension, responding, uh, each, res e each dimension represents a word in a word back. If a word in a sentence, the corresponding dimensions value is a word TFIDF. Otherwise, the dimensions value is zero. For the second classifier, we design 14 features to characterize, uh, uh, summarize the six root causes from the feedbacks. For example, uh, the cause of view contains too many UI elements. We count the number of the UI elements in the view placed in the privacy setting as a feature nine, and we also calculate a percentage of the privacy setting in the view uh, as a feature 10. Since in a, uh, a user study, some participants complain that privacy setting and other general settings mixed together, it's hard for them to single out a target one. Uh, other more detailed features can be found in our paper. And after we design our 14 features, we found to calculate the features, we need to know the UI, the privacy settings pre precise UI path. So next, how to extract an UI path becomes the key point to calculation of features. 
Uh, one, may think dynamic of, uh, uh, one may think of dynamic analysis, but this approach is time consuming and can only extract a limited number of UI tests as we know. So in our work, we use the static uh, uh, to extract we, we statically extract it, but it's still challenging due to the complexity of the layout design and the limitation of Java language static analysis, such as how to deal with inheritance. So in our work, we design a novel technique named semantic-based UI path extraction. It's based on observation that the title has a semantic uh, connection with the indicator user click. Let's see the uh, UI path example of the Alipay. Mm. Each text of the indicator has the same semantics with the title of a view after click it. So we leverage the semantics of the indicator and the views to build a, uh, the connection between them. And uh, we backtrace from the view placing the uh, privacy setting to the home page and extract the UI path. So, uh, next, we uh, detail how to extract the semantics from the indicators and the views. Uh, in app, indicators has two category, uh, two type of category, uh, text and icon. For the text, the text itself provides best uh, semantics. And for the icon, we leverage the Google search engine. We upload uh, images such as a setting as a figure showing, and uh, Google's best guess says it might be a setting or a gear, so I, we can know the semantics of icon. And for the view, intuitively, the title of a view uh, can use it for uh, as a semantics, but if the title, if the view doesn't have title, the class name and uh, layout file name, such as privacy setting dot layout, also may can be used uh, as um, the, the view's semantics. So in this way, we can extract the uh, semantics of indicators and the views and build the connections between them and uh, extract uh, a given privacy settings UI path. Uh, we developed uh, our tool hunt and uh, use it to analyze 100,000 apps from the real world. Um, we found about 7,000 apps has uh, about uh, 18,000 privacy settings. And in the 7,000 apps, nearly half of them have hidden privacy settings. And in the privacy settings, more than one third, uh, uh, more than one third are difficult for users to locate. This result reveals that in the real world, uh, the hidden privacy setting is pervasive. And we also study the problem to the popularity. Uh, from our, in a study, we find in an app with more in crazy downloads, the app, more of them have privacy setting. And in the meanwhile, the app with hidden privacy setting increase. An, educa an educated guess could be then the developers of popular apps, they may pay more attention to the privacy settings, and they are more likely to provide, uh, the, make the settings more explicit. And we also study the uh, hidden privacy setting problem over time. For the 7,000 apps, we uh, crowd uh, uh, the latest version in the 2018 year, and finally we got about 5,000 ones. And we, after comparing them, we find some new privacy setting appear, uh, but some original privacy setting disappear. But the sad news is the hidden privacy setting problem becomes more serious, not only in the, such as a figure showing, not only in the app with hidden privacy setting, but also the number and the percentage of hidden privacy settings, they all increase. And to our astonish, some apps, some apps changed from easy to find into hidden in a new version. After we look into them and find that these apps increase the more functionalities and corresponding settings, maybe it is because that uh, it's hard to balance the usability of apps and the control on privacy, so that developers do not design the privacy setting well. But uh, we are also happy to find some apps changed uh, into uh, easy to find in the new version, for example, such as Baidu Map and uh, BMW Motorrad. They gathered uh, uh, the previous scattered privacy settings, such as in the tracking setting view and uh, legal notice view into users' f uh, familiar view, not privacy setting view. 
We also found that these improved apps all have a large number of downloads. It uh, appears that, again, that popular apps attach more importance to the designs of privacy settings. They are more likely to make the uh, privacy setting usability better. Um, moreover, when uh, the hidden privacy setting problem will be even more serious when they are set to leak users' privacy by default. So we collect, uh, uh, randomly collect uh, privacy settings to study, and uh, uh, the results are still astonishing. 78% are set to leak user privacy, and among a hidden privacy setting, a higher percentage, 82% of them set to leak users' privacy. And to our surprise, 100% hidden privacy setting in the user social connection categories expose users' privacy by default. And one more thing, we find an interesting thing, that some texts look like they are protecting users, such as showing a picture, uh, do not show people I follow and groups I've joined. But the switch, uh, the setting is switched off by default. So in fact, the privacy exposed uh, we, in our, we, in our randomly selected uh, privacy setting data set, we find that more than 20% of them have this problem. So users may just leave the setting there and do not change the switch's default status, and they may leak their privacy without any consent. Uh, so based on our study, we provide, uh, we nerd five suggestions for developers to design better user usability of a privacy settings, such as less setting privacy settings, starts and UI paths. And finally, let's conclusion, uh, let's um, summarize our conclusion. Uh, in our study, we have new understanding of hidden privacy setting. We summarize the potential causes of, of hidden privacy setting and uh, reveals the significant impact in the real world. And our work can help, um, it can help uh, design better uh, usability of a privacy setting and enhance the protection of the user protection. And we also uh, provide a new technique to automatically discover hidden privacy settings. We developed a hunt and it helps us do a large study in the real world. Thanks for your listening, welcome question. So if you have questions, please come up to the mic and your name and affiliation, please. Hi. Brian Mastenberg, Western Digital. Did you evaluate how many of these applications were available on a European app store or were otherwise from vendors that would be subject to GDPR? Uh, uh, sorry, could you please repeat that again? So I, I think many of the settings examples you show would potentially violate the European GDPR regulation. And so I'm wondering how many of these examples were applications that were potentially subject to GDPR. Maybe the more popular applications that seem to be cleaning up their privacy settings were doing so for compliance reasons. Yeah, uh, we, we, uh, after we analyzed the app and we evaluated these uh, settings by another user study. So we, uh, we, we heard um, 200 people to evaluate the settings, we, the hidden privacy setting we discovered. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? So I have one, I guess. Uh, so with your reviews, you were doing a lot of uh, user feedback on, you know, this is hidden. Were there anything surprising in terms of what users actually liked in privacy settings? Can you invert the analysis to say these are the best practices that we found from users? Sorry. Uh, you focus mostly on hidden privacy and things that users found to be confusing or difficult to find. But yeah. the inverse, you could also say, like, what was good to users? What did they actually find was helpful with privacy settings from the surveys that you ran? Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I heard um, the, first, the, the, the first part of the... Um, people f I find the privacy setting difficult to find, but I didn't catch your question. I'll follow up offline. That's all yeah, right. okay, Let's thank, thank the speaker you. again. Thank you.